Hi, I'm Kelsey Kearns, and I'm here with SACA Forums Coordinator Albert Arevalo. Albert, what exactly is SACA? SACA is the Student Association for Campus Activities. We are actually a branch of uh, CASA, which is Campus Activities and Student Organizations. And we do a lot of the free programming that goes on at the Student Center or at the University. Okay, and what kind of activities does SACA handle on campus? We do uh, like the free programming, we do free comedians, free speakers, um, homecoming events. And one of our biggest uh, events that we do throughout the whole year is actually Riverfest. So it's held in the spring and it's, an ama it's like a smaller version of ACL, um, but it's amazing and it's a lot of fun. Now you're the forums coordinator, so what exactly does that do? Uh, so forums, I'm in charge of bringing speakers to university. Uh, I'm, in, I'm also working with the Common Experience. Okay, mm -hmm. what speakers can we expect this semester? Um, a ghost hunter, actually. He's um, featured on A&E, mm -hmm. and his name is Chad Kalik, and it'll be in October the 14th. So it's an amazing program to know about, figure uh, out some paranormal facts and learning do's and don'ts about ghost hunting if, ev if anybody is interested in doing it. So. Right, okay. And uh, what about the other coordinators? What do they do? Well, we have different coordinators uh, with different tasks. We have a marketing coordinator, a prize and tradition coordinator. Um, let's see, we have coordinators that do events at George's, all over campus. If you think about it, we have a coordinator for it, and it's a lot of fun. Okay. And uh, what event are you most looking forward to this semester? I'm looking forward towards the homecoming events. The homecoming events are always fun to do. There's big tradition that's associated with homecoming, right? the talent show, the soapbox derby, the tournaments, the powder puff, and the three-on-three -three basketball. It's a lot of fun. It's a good way to interact with different people in different groups from the university. Mm -hmm. so. And the talent show, when are the auditions for that? The talent show auditions should be um, soon. I don't have the date on top of my head, but the talent show, um, uh, I guess registration will be closed at the end of the month. So if anybody is interested in joining or um, interested in performing in the talent show, please look at our website on campus activities. Mm -hmm. And the Soapbox Derby, what exactly is that? Um, the Soapbox Derby is in charge um, by the Order of Omega, and they do everything on down Bobcat, uh, Bobcat Trail. So it's a lot of fun. It's where the sororities and the fraternities kind of collaborate and do a soapbox. And then some of the res halls do uh, the, the box also. Mm -hmm. so. And what about George's? What are some events we can look forward to there? Um, we do a lot of country nights. We do, well, I guess, a lot of dances go on now. Um, sometimes we do speakers. In the past, we've had a fashion show. Um, it varies, but it's always something fun and looking forward to events at George's. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone wanted to become a SACA member, what, what does that entail? Well, becoming a SACA member is absolutely free, like SACA is, what we do. Um, our All members, your activities are free, yeah, right? Our, so it's only best fitting that our members um, don't pay for anything as well. So um, it's absolutely free to anybody. The only commitment that we have for our members is to do three events, and um, an additional event would be homecoming, help us out with any events like that and um, help us out in the office. If we have a program coming up soon, we might need some preparation for it, and right. they help us out with that. Okay, and what are some benefits from being a SACA member? Um, a lot of free food, a lot of free shirts. Um, I guess seeing the process of a program and how it works mm -hmm. from beginning to the end, so. Um, Do you ever get to meet the people? Yeah, um, the, co uh, the coordinators introduce the speakers to our members and they have like additional time and like they get to know the speaker a lot more better aside from his lecture or um, performance. Right, so you get to be behind the scenes pretty much? Behind the scenes, a lot of fun. Okay, and when is the next SACA meeting and where do y'all meet? Um, our meetings are every other Wednesday. The next one will be on September the 29th. So um, in there every Wednesday, every other Wednesday at five o'clock. Okay, and what do y'all usually do in the meetings? Um, we have a little icebreaker at the very beginning to interact with all our members so mm -hmm. everybody can get to know each other. Um, then we talk business, we talk about our programming that are coming up, and then we feed our members. So mm -hmm. That sounds great. Well, Albert, thank you very much for being here. I'm Kelsey Kearns, and now news with Brittany Lewis.